find this integral, one over ax squared plus bx plus c dx. You will need to consider test cases. Okay. Uh, firstly, uh, if b squared less than 4ac. If b squared less than 4 a C. Uh, I will start with. Uh, I'm going to expand this. Uh, X squared plus B X plus C. I'm going to use a part of step when we will find the uh, ABC formula okay to find the roots of roots of quadratic equation a times x squared plus B over a x plus C over a after that, a x squared minus b over a x plus um yeah if b squared over uh, minus four a c equals zero. Okay, this for the third case actually. It means B squared equals 4AC. So C equals B squared over 4A. So you can write in here that B squared over C as B squared over 4A over A. And the next a times x squared minus b over ax plus b squared over 4a squared because a times a. And this is Yeah, because we are going to make this as the quadratic uh, expression. So to the AX B squared over for A. Yeah, squared like this. So it's beca it becomes a times x plus b over 2a squared. Okay, now if b squared, okay, if b squared uh, minus this, B, B squared minus 4AC. Less than zero. Uh, it means. Four. AC. Minus B squared. Uh, times minus one. Greater than zero. So, uh, for these expressions, I'm going to expand, becomes, okay, x squared, uh, yeah, 2b, 
over 2a x d squared 4a squared and it becomes what is this space x uh yeah x squared divided ax b squared over 4a squared i'm going to factorize x plus b over 2a squared a plus c over a minus b squared over 4a squared so it becomes <clears throat> x squared plus b over a x b squared over 4a squared plus c over a minus b squared over 4a squared and uh, yeah equals zero so becomes x plus b over 2a squared plus 4ac minus b squared over 4a squared. If we expand this, it's going to be x squared plus b over a x plus c over a. But if, uh, I will expand this part, okay? This expression, not this. So it, uh, I'm going to factorize. Factorize becomes four <clears throat> AC minus B squared over four A squared times four A squared over four AC minus B squared. times x plus b over 2a squared is 1 plus 1. Okay. So next, for, uh, it becomes 4ac minus b squared over 4a squared times 2a over square root 4ac minus b squared times x plus b over 2a squared plus one okay so if you look at why this <clears throat> why it becomes uh square root uh square root for acb squared because look uh this is for a squared being two a yeah so because uh it becomes squared here so if uh i create like this square so it, it's gonna be four ac squared if uh, square root four ac squared four square root four ac minus b squared 
squared, it becomes 4ac minus b squared. The simplification from this form. Next, 4ac minus b squared <clears throat> over 4a squared. Uh, 2a times times x to a x plus b over four a c square root I mean four a c minus sorry not plus but minus minus b square okay. plus one okay so if two a times x to a x two a times uh two a times yeah, 2a times x, 2ax, 2a times b over 2a becomes b. So it means this integral, integral 1 over ax squared plus bx plus c dx. We can write thing as integral 1 over a times x squared plus b over ax plus c over a dx or this integral becomes one integral one over a times four ac minus b squared from this over 4a squared times 2ax 2ax plus b is 1 over square root 4ac minus b squared squared plus one double brackets in brackets okay dx and the next next step so it becomes uh for yes divide it for ac minus b squared over 4a over 4 yeah 4 a 4 a for a c with all we have to write down as the opposite of that fraction <clears throat> because one over one over it means The denominator is this one. Yeah. And then after that, integral. 1 over 2ax plus b square root 4ac minus b squared. Squared plus one dx oh, um, by substitution. I'm going to using substitutions if u equals 
two a x plus b over square root four a c minus b squared. So it means du equals two a over square root four a c minus b squared dx or dx equals square root four a c minus b squared over two a du. Okay, based on this information, we can writing this integral, this integral as for a <clears throat> over four a c minus b squared integral one over u squared plus one the x wait the x this one square root four a c minus b squared over to a du after one after that this divide uh divide so it becomes yeah and four divided by yeah four a divided by two a becomes two over square roots four a c minus b squared Integral 1 over u squared plus 1 du. Now I'm going, I'm going to use the next uh, substitution. If u equals tangent theta. So the u equals uh, second squared theta d theta. So theta equals arc tangent u. <clears throat> and this integral 2 over square root 4 ac minus b squared integral du is this one second squared d theta over uh over tangent and tangent squared theta plus one or two over square root four a c minus b squared times second squared sorry theta here second squared theta d theta over second squared theta so it's gonna be two over square root for AC minus B squared integral I divide it, integral d theta, 2 over square root 4ac minus b squared uh, theta plus c. I recall that theta, so the theta equals arc tangent u. Okay. So it means... The result is 2 over 4ac minus b squared arc tangent uh, arc tangent u plus c u equals uh, 2ax plus b.
Suar. Two over. Square root four AC minus B squared. Arc tangent. Two AX plus B over square root four AC minus B squared plus C. Right. Uh, the next case is I'm gonna change the color a b squared minus four a c yeah if b squared minus four a c greater than zero or Uh, B squared greater than 4AC or discriminant greater than 0. Uh, discriminant is B squared minus 4AC. Yeah, so, therefore, I uh, write down D greater than 0. Okay, uh, we'll start from this expression ax squared plus bx plus c uh if we uh if we expand this and find the roots <clears throat> we're gonna find the expression like this a x minus minus b plus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a times x minus minus b minus square root d over 2a. Okay. And I'm going to, because uh, divided by 2a, uh, over 2a, over 2a, I'm going to multiply by 4a over 4a. So this expression becomes 1 over 4a times 2ax minus b minus square root d because negative times positive and then 2ax minus uh, becomes plus sorry becomes plus because negative times negative <laughs> and negative times negative minus a uh, plus square root d okay So it means that it means the integral one over ax squared plus bx plus c dx equals integral one over four a. Uh, this expression <clears throat> one over four one over four a. Uh, so the one over, I mean, right. So it becomes integral one over one over four a times two a x plus p minus square root d times two a x plus b plus square root d dx so later on 
1 over 4a becomes 4a integral uh, 1 over 2ax plus b minus square root d times 2ax plus b plus square root d dx. Now, I'm going to simplify becomes two fraction, okay? Especially for <clears throat> these expressions, this part. True partial, partial fraction, okay? True partial fraction. Okay, true. Uh, partial friction, sorry. The partial friction method, we can state that one over two AX plus b minus square root d times 2ax plus b plus square root d equivalent with a over 2ax plus b minus square root d plus b over 2ax plus b minus square root d, plus square root d, sorry. So if we multiply by, uh, if we multiply by this, becomes a times 2ax plus b plus square root d, b, times 2ax plus b minus square root d. And it becomes 1. <laughs> because we multiply by this, uh, this, this expression. So next, 1 equals uh, multiply 2 a a x plus a b plus a square root d plus two b a x plus b b minus b square root d one equals uh, next 2a a plus 2b a x and then plus 1 yeah a yeah, a, this one, this part. B plus square root D. B times B minus square root D. So through this, through the, this equation, we can state that two A A plus two B a equals zero because there is no variable x here. Uh, factorize to a equals zero. So a plus b equals zero. So a equals minus b. Right. If a equals minus b, 
The next is this one. This part equals one. D equals one. It means A equals minus B, so minus B times square root D plus B plus one. <clears throat> now multiply minus B B minus B square D and then plus B. B minus B square root D equals 1. 0. So minus 2B square root D equals 1. So <clears throat> B square root D equals minus half. And B equals minus 1 over 2 square root D. This is B, so how about A? Recall that A equals minus B, so A equals minus, minus 1 over 2 square root D. So A equals 1 over 2 square root D. So these expressions, uh, this expression we can write in as yeah one over two a x plus b minus square root d times two a x plus b plus square root d. Equivalent with one over two AX plus B minus square root D minus one over two AX plus B plus square root D. So uh, the integral, yeah. Integral one over ax squared plus bx plus c dx <clears throat> equals integral one over uh yeah two a d uh one over two a d actually one over At least two AD because A was two AD, so two AD here. Sorry, actually two AD. Yeah, one over. Two square D two X plus B minus square D okay. minus one over two square D two X plus B plus square root D. So it becomes one over. 2 square d 2 ax plus b minus square d minus 1 over 2 ax plus b plus square root d dx
Okay. In brackets, this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, if I not think that that is actually four, this one. There is four here. So I have to multiply by four A. So the, this is four A here. Okay. So can writing as four A over two square D. One over two A X plus B minus square D minus one over two A X plus B minus plus square root D the X. If I did becomes two A. Two A over square root D. But I'm going to write down to A inside, inside the integral. So this is 1 over D to A over 2AX plus B minus D to A over 2AX plus B plus D the x okay now <clears> on <throat> substitutions uh if u equals to ax plus b minus square d the u equals to a dx and if v equals to ax plus b plus square root d. So d field equals to a dx. So I'm going to separate this. So 1 over square root d integral uh, 2a dx over 2ax plus b minus square root d minus integral to a dx over to ax plus b plus square root d. This is du, so 1 over square root d uh, integral du over u minus integral d phi over phi. So the integral becomes 1 over square root d then u minus len phi. Len u minus len phi plus C. Or 1 over square root D. Uh, yeah, learn U over phi plus C. So the result 1 over a square root B squared minus 4AC then uh, u is 2ax plus b minus square root d over phi 2ax plus b plus square root b squared minus 4ac plus c. This is the result. Next. 
for the next case is if b squared equals uh, uh b squared equals four ac or i'm gonna use another color yeah if b squared minus four ac equals zero actually i have explained that but i will uh re-explain so if a x squared bx plus zero equals a times x squared plus b a x plus c over a so it becomes a times x squared b over a x uh, if b squared minus 4ac equals 0, it means b squared equals 4ac, and c equals b squared over 4a. So c we can write in as 4, as b squared, sorry, b squared over 4a over a. So it becomes, this expression becomes x, uh, a times x squared, b over ax, plus b squared over 4a squared. Yeah. After that, I will uh, factorize it. But firstly, I'm going to write it like this, x squared plus 2abx over 2a, b over 4, over 2a, sorry, b over 2a, yeah, yeah, 2a, uh, actually it is 2a, yeah, square. So it's going to be A this is the factorization and then integral 1 over ix squared plus bx plus c dx integral 1 over a x plus b over two a squared dx. Why this? Because uh, the if b squared minus four a c equals zero. Substitution u equals x plus b over two a. So the u equals dx u equals du equals dx so this integral we can write in as integral one over a u du yeah a u squared or one over a integral um yeah du over u squared so it becomes one over a The integral uh, negative 2 plus 1, oh yeah, 1 over u plus c. So it becomes minus 1 over a u plus c. Or minus 1 over a times x plus this one yeah. plus c. Yeah. 
ليش قدروا يشعلوا؟ Okay, students, thank you for joining with me in this lesson.